Good day everyone. Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Today we got a question here and this question happens to be the Japanese Olympiad math problem. We are asked to simplify this without a calculator. Please before we proceed try to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe please. Please and please subscribe to this channel. Share our videos. Thank you. Okay, now let us see how to evaluate this without calculators. Okay, the first thing that comes into my mind is this negative sign here. Then with that, I am recalling the difference of two squares formula. That is a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b, right? So now let us try to manipulate this expression to have basis with powers of 2, right? So now, let us write this. 2 raised to the power 18 is the same as 2 raised to the power 9 times 2. Then minus 1. 1 is the same as 1 squared, right? So we can say that the base here, B, has a power of 2. And the base here, 1, has a power of 2. So we need to obtain a base with a power of 2 here. So now, let us record this algebraic property. That a raised power b times c is the same as a raised power b in bracket raised power of c, right? So right over here, we're going to have in bracket 2 raised power of 9, close bracket raised power of 2, then minus 1 squared, right? Okay, now we can see that the basis here, a and b, we added and we subtract. And the basis here, 2 raised power 9 and 1, we are going to add and subtract, right? So here we have this is equal to... 2 raised to the power of 9 plus 1, and again, 2 raised to the power of 9 minus 1, right? Okay, now, this is equal to, we all know 2 raised to the power of 9 is 512 plus 1, multiplied by 512 minus 1, right? So, this is equal to, to multiply 512 plus 1, that is 513 times 512 minus 1, that is 511. So now I'm going to rewrite this as follows 500 plus 13, that is the first one over here, then times, that is this multiplication sign here, 511, the same as 500 plus 11, that is this one over here, right? Okay, now let me expand this bracket and simplify where necessary right so we're going to use the foil method we multiply this and this together so we all know 500 times 500 it will have four zeros one two three four then five times five twenty five so we're gonna have two five with what four zeros okay then the same 500 multiply the second number here and that number happens to be positive. Okay, now 500 times this 1, 1, move the two zeros to 1, 1. It becomes 1,100. Then multiply by 5. It will have two zeros. So 5 times 11 is 55 with two zeros, right? Then plus. Now, the next one is 13 times 500 over here, right? So it will have two zeros. Then 5 times 13, that is 65. So we have 65 with two zeros, right? And plus, then this 13 multiply the second number over here, right? So we have 13 times 11, and that gives us what? 143, right? Okay, now, let us add this together. If you carefully add these numbers together, you're going to have this to be equal to... So this is going to give you 2, 6... 2, right? Then, 1, 4, 3. And this is the final answer. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and share my videos. Thank you.